Hey, Rob, it's Men's Health. Okay. Uh, Dad, there's some cameras here. Oh, it's Men's Health. I told you they were coming. They're gonna look at our gym and fridge. Remember, oh. I, I told you they were coming today. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in. Let's go to the kitchen, guys. And this is the fridge. So this is it, this is the stash. This is uh, what makes the railroad run on time. What do you always have in your fridge? Uh, well, for me, oat milk always goes with smoothies, goes with coffee. We like the Atkins protein shakes. These are sick. Dreamy chocolate, that's my go-to. What else? Kombucha well, is a good little uh, gut health snack. It's kind of like a cheat soda for me. And then, of course, the best tart cherry juice. Yeah. After workout, I'll hit it with some sparkling. Eh! Sparkling water. What's that noise? It's heavy. Okay. Super heavy. Uh, moving on. Vegetables, classic, but tasty. My favorite, le bacon. Super healthy. Does your diet change for different roles? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it's usually just about getting in shape or getting not in shape. I haven't done the like Brendan Fraser whale thing. And guess what? I wouldn't. I'd wear a fat suit. He's too vain. Have you ever received any diet tips from any of your co-stars? Mike Myers taught me about this when he, he lost all this weight for Austin Powers by only eating bacon. And on, on his fridge, he had a picture of bacon. That sounds like a lie. It's a true story. I feel like Chris Farley gave you a diet tip one time. Oh, he did. Yeah. I know all his stories. You heard them a lot? Too many times. Okay. Chris Farley and I went to, to, to a steak place once. He ordered two porterhouse steaks, two of them. And on top of every bite, he put a cube of butter. And when I was grossed out by it, I, I was like, what are you doing? He says, hmm, it needs a hat. What have you learned from your dad about eating healthy? Less sugar is better, even though he doesn't stick to that too much. Try. Um, you try. Mostly it's just a mindset. I feel like he's been serious about his health since I can remember. And so he has helped me be serious about mine. Sometimes he'll poke my chest and tell me to engage my core. Engage your core. Yeah. I am. There, I'm going to be real with you. There wasn't much to grab there. Right? Yeah. You've been sober for over 30 years. Do you make any non-alcoholic drinks? Yeah. Um, I'm always in the mood for something that I can drink when everybody else is having some fun. That's part of the fun of it is finding your own con concoction. My new one is grape juice, a sparkling water, and a little bit of lime. But I'm a big non-alcoholic beer guy. What does your diet mainly consist of? I, I like to keep things simple. Um, I like simple foods. I don't like fancy foods. I don't like sauces. I, I love just a simply done steak, a simple grilled chicken, like a really like light, clean salad. And I'm also a creature of habit. So I'll like recycle fish tacos, like carnitas, uh, a steak. And again, my, my big battle is trying to minimize the sugar. Yeah, I, I fish meats, brown rice. I love a good like poke bowl. Are you a kind of like malt eater throughout the day or you intermittent fast sometimes, don't you? No, I, I'm a little snacks throughout the day, like five yeah. little meals rather than three big meals. And then I usually don't eat anything until lunch. What would we never see in your fridge? Whew. Personally, I don't like that we have cow's milk. No, oh, I'm a big real milk person. I know. It's my Midwestern upbringing, a good cold glass of milk, I'm not gonna lie. Fair enough. With the right thing is, is, is pretty sick. What would we never have in here though? Ever. For me, it's probably olives. Oh, come on, olives are good. Olives are gross. Certain kinds of olives are for sure gross. Olives filled with blue cheese is like Ew. my mortal it's enemy. disgusting. Yeah, the grossest thing on the planet. What's your go-to burger order? Easy, really simple. Cheeseburger, raw onion, lettuce, tomato, mustard, avocado if you got it. Lately, I've been hitting the protein style at In-N-Out and if you go mustard fried, it's really good. What do you grab from your fridge at 2 a.m.? Oh, oh. I, did it, I did it last night. String cheese and turkey. Overnight oats if we have them, if we're not out. Great granola with Greek yogurt. And um, I'm not a raspberry person. I'm I like the little the hairs on them. Hey. I like the berries. Ooh, the hairs. Okay. Enough of that. These, uh, these chips are really good. These blueberries. Protein chips. Blueberries are good and, um, and strawberries. Are you done? Yeah. These, uh, Wild protein chips, they're just basically protein. They're super healthy. My brother turned me on to them. Where do you work out? I live in California. 
pay a lot of taxes for this weather. So we work out outside. Come on, let's go hit it. Grab the water. All right. Okay, so I'm just carrying yours? Cool. Turn it up, let it blast. How often do you work out? Every day. For my mood, I've got to do it. I've got to get my body going, get, get a sweat on. I have to really work to take a day off, actually. You just like to talk. That's my exercise routine, talking? Yeah, listening to music, yacht rock, talking with people that come over. In fact, I hate people who talk in the gym. What are you doing right now? I'm not working out right now, you are. How has your exercise regime changed over time? My regimen is if I can be out and surf or ski, I just want to be outside whenever I can. How did you get into surfing? I didn't learn surfing until I was 40 years old, and I grew up in Malibu. But when I grew up in Malibu, if you were a teenager and you went out there, they beat the living crap out of you. It's, it, it became an obsession. I'm glad I didn't pick it up earlier in my life because I would have blown off every audition if the waves were good. Do you surf together? We started surfing together. You've kind of given it up though, right? With you. Why? Because you talk too much. Look at this. Wait a minute. Yeah, get those abs going. Good for you. Still talking. Do you motivate each other to stay fit? Yeah. I like to give him a hard time, but he's good to work out with because he looks okay for 50, 60. How old are you? 58. Who can bench more? Ooh, that would be a good competition. I, I, have, to, I have to have you on that. Probably you. Yeah. Yeah. You. But if it was like a body weight competition, I'm smoking you. Yeah, for sure. What was your most physically demanding role? Years ago, I did a hockey movie called Young Blood. I didn't even know how to skate. Doing the training for that was pretty gnarly. It was also the first time I ever had a trainer. Are you ever that... gonna work out? I don't need it, baby. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, I need to go to the vet because these puppies are sick. Okay. What's your favorite workout? Mm. Arms. Arms. Chest. Abs. Upper body. Any upper body. Show Sh muscles. Show muscles. Yeah. Hey, buddy. It's my dog. Come here. Oh, and yay. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here, good boy. Here. Look at this. A workout right here. Yeah, he's talking about a workout. This guy got a workout. This is what I sound like when I get off the treadmill. I'm putting him down. He's heavy. Hey, buddy. How do you keep your mind fit? If I stop working out, like for a week or God forbid two weeks, I get super low grade, sluggish, depressed. So I need to work out and then I need to sleep. Both components together are critical for me. Sleep is a big one. Treating my body kindly. Meditating. Good one. Praying and practicing selflessness. Those are the big ones for me. Aside from working out and surfing, are there any other activities you do together? But we golf together. That's the, other than working out together, the main thing we do together is golf, for sure. Yeah, what did we do this year? Oh my God. So we had the most incredible bucket list father son moment. We got to go play golf at Augusta. That was like, I could, you can't even, I could die happily, really, truly. What are your fitness goals? My fitness goals are to not get injured because the, the recovery just kills you. And if I couldn't work out, I would lose my mind. To be in better shape than him. That will never happen. All right, we're almost done. Time for rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? Ooh, neither. Workout time for me, 7 p.m. for sure. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Squat over deadlift. Squat. CrossFit, yay or nay? Absolute nay. yay. Nay. Yay! I'll f I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself if I do CrossFit. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups for me. Chin-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Both. 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 Gotta have both. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? Outdoors always. Outdoors. Cardio or weights? Both. Weights, but cardio's great too. Big legs or big arms? Big arms. Come on. I feel like I don't even need to answer that. Look at my little chicken legs. I can say it, but not you. Biggest compliment, jacked, cut, ripped, or swole? Cut, easy for me, cut. Ripped. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Mm, man, that's such a good, well, I've worked out with Arnold. It's one of the great thrills of all time. And once you've worked out with Arnold Schwarzenegger, everything else is downhill. But that said, I'm kind of interested in this, in, in whatever the hell Tom Brady's doing. I would want to go with like Tom Cruise. We could get a workout in and then I've worked out. out with Tom Cruise. It's not all it's cracked up to be. You gotta ruin everything for me. Well, I think that's it uh, for now, but thanks for coming by. Um, you're welcome anytime to our dojo.